Welcome to the seventh episode of our audio in Unity series. Today we will show you how to create trigger zones and adapt background music to those triggers. I will change the background music when we enter the forest zone. Let's jump right into the background music script and make it more accessible from outside and add a couple of functions to change the music inside the source. Change track allows us to change the track and get track returns us the one that playing. Later we will need both to store and change clips. There are some presets that we can use right off the bat. Also, we can tweak the parameters individually. Let's use the forest preset for now. Go back to the forest object that we created, which also has a reverb zone. Now we create a script for it. Inside the script, we need two clips, one that we will change and one for to reverb changes. We will store the clip playing in the previous track and push the track we want when we go in the zone. On trigger enter function will handle the entering situation and exit one will do the opposite by reverting the track to the original. We still don't have a trigger zone, so let's create a sphere collider and make it a trigger. You can change the radius of the sphere, but so far it seems good and exact the same with the reverb zone. Drag the music you want to play inside the sphere. I'm gonna use Magical Trident. And it's good to go. We can observe the changes on the background music objects. With fade in and fade out, transition sounds good. That's it for today. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video.